Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. See, you might be noticing a little bit different of a starting screen here. Normally, I, uh, you know, started the title screen, I go through the whole preamble, Wrath of the Lamb, Fork 1.48, etc, etc, but now I've got Cheat Engine set up, and that kind of necessitates me starting here, so I actually have all the starting items I want to have. I am playing as Isaac, and by far the most requested challenge run on Twitter was to use Ipecac plus my reflection. A lot of people said plus lump of coal as well. Let's not get crazy here. Let's start small. I also uh, edited it to give me uh, yum heart because otherwise I'm gonna die in like two seconds here. Believe me, I did some tests. So the other way we made this work is that uh, also I did have to enter one room to kind of get the items queued up before I got started here. But from now on, let's uh, just try this out. I expect that this is gonna go pretty badly. I've done kind of two test runs and every single run has ended in like under five minutes. I'm just gonna try to play it cool here. As cool as I can anyway. Really this <laughs> run is borderline. Oh, I didn't think it would come back. Uh, borderline impossible I think. Holy crap, I'm almost dead already. So I think what we should do is actually leave this room. Try to make our way back into the secret room here. And pick up some of these hearts. So, if you're not familiar, what makes this run difficult? Ipecac gives you the explosive shots. As, oh, why am I getting yum heart every single room? It's because I didn't uncheck something in um, Cheat Engine. Let me just boot that up here for a second. So get that. I'll just drag it over here so you guys can see what I'm doing. So start with yum heart. We're going to uncheck that. And we're going to uncheck... Always add item when entering room. Sure. So you guys can download Cheat Engine for yourself. I believe it's normally used to kind of like... Basically make some games easier. But what we're using it for... Is <laughs> actually to make it a little bit harder here. Probably something that hasn't been used for all that often. I have no idea if I'm able, even able to do damage to these enemies. It seems like if Oh my god, we got one almost killed. Now the, the flip side of this is that I do still have item rooms available, so I'm kind of hoping... Oh, that's not good. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that maybe we'll come across some good item rooms that could save my life here, because right now, this is becoming comical. What I might want to do is maybe extend my... Oh, extend my range as much as possible, because this is... Fucking disaster. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna get this. We got through one room. I didn't know if it was gonna be possible, but here we are. Uh, I don't know if I can just shoot at these rocks or if the rocks are gonna explode right away. Well, that was well done so far. Obviously, we are gonna want this money in case we can go to the shop later. Uh, but it's... Oh my god, how does that work? We're almost already dead again. That one cent can basically go fuck itself. We are on Seller XL here, so we have to um, make sure... That we have some keys left over that we can eventually spend or use at the uh, item rooms if we're going to make any progress here. Two minutes in and we finish like a room and a half, two rooms. This could be interesting. So this is the room that I believe I started in uh, before I really got things going. We're definitely going to play the shit out of the slot machine. This is the definition of a challenge run. No question about that. Uh, the other thing I want, yeah, Spirit Hearts HP upgrades out the ass, please, because we are going to need them. Given how much damage I'm going to take for myself. Marry and reproduce. Okay, that's not really good advice. We'll all buy one day. I don't need advice. I need cushions from this firestorm that's going to come for me. Uh, this will probably be pretty, pretty difficult. I think I'm coming across a semblance of a strategy, though. Just basically, like, get close to the wall. And then when these guys jump you, you're just going to fire it into the wall. And maybe you'll be able to do a little bit better than uh, I have been doing so far. That's not the way I wanted it to work. Oh, that is going to work. Now, there have been times when I've had Ipecac in my reflection of- Oh, come on. Before? I don't remember it being this difficult. But clearly, my memory has been mistaken. We've already lost both of those spirit arts we gained, but we did get through the room and we got unlimited keys. So something good could happen here. Uh, I think the way we want to do this is like, kind of- We want to curve our own shots, rather than firing straight. Uh, so that we have the hopes, or the chances at least, of actually getting them to land on an enemy instead of getting them to, like, Coriolis effect into our face. This is more difficult than dodging, like, your standard, uh, green bomb throwing enemies by, like, a factor of a hundred. So what do we have here? We have Monstro's Tooth. Certainly not gonna be more valuable than the Yum Heart for us. Although the- it might be more valuable for one boss fight, because we don't even have Yum Heart charged up yet. So the first item room is basically- oh, this is gonna be a problem. The first item room is basically a total bust. Seriously, help me out here. I wanna get them close to the wall. Come on, you can do it. Close to the- close to the wall. And then we're gonna fire- oh, that sort of worked by accident. I'm really concerned about what's gonna happen once we start getting, like, uh, hoppers. Because they are gonna be a pain in the ass. Leapers, of course, are gonna present the same problem leapers always present. Leapers gonna leap, uh, and we're gonna come up here. Should look for secret rooms, but again, 
We've got to be pretty cautious because we could quite easily blow ourselves up here. As you can see, just really want to... Imagine with this with Lump of Coal, where the bombs or the shots just keep getting bigger as they go. That's how this first like attempted recording went. I got about two minutes in and then one Lump of Coal shot hit me and ruined my day. Uh, I mean, I got hit like 30 times apart from that as well because this is a difficult challenge. There's a Tinted Rock up here. Could end up saving my life. Alright, so I've got a decent strategy here, finally, I feel. Is this seriously not working? How is that possible? There we go. So we get a spirit heart out of that. Better than nothing, I suppose. Oh, oh, is it... No, it oh, it did kill one, okay. I killed another one. How about this guy? You really got to abuse the layout of the room to your advantage on this run. Let's see what we've got in this item room. Uh, fetus in a jar. I would love to take this so much. That would, like, simplify my problems greatly. I'm exercising incredible restraint to not get, like, go with the luckiest item I could possibly go with right now. Believe me, it's unfortunate. I would much rather take fetus, take fetus in a jar right now. Sadly, uh, the one time I get it, or the time I get it because it's pretty rare, uh, is the time that we are unable to use it. Oh well. So I think we're basically done with the Cellar XL here. So we can head down to the next floor. I really can't believe that fetus in a jar showed up. On the only run where I didn't want it to. Oh, we should go to the shop, actually. You know what would make this a little bit more viable for me right now? Is if we could get Nun's Habit in combination with Yum Heart. Uh, I think my damage would decrease, or my damage taken would decrease just a little bit. Don't really need the map. Kinda need uh, the Spirit Hearts, I would say. So, all in all, it hasn't been a terrible first floor. I mean, it would be an amazing first floor if we were not doing this challenge run, because I would just take Fetus in a jar and beat the game in like 10 minutes, probably. But we did just recently do that run anyway, so it's, I think, worth it for us to try new things here, shall we say. Hopefully we get an enemy, Famine, this is not the enemy I was looking for, um, that's easy enough to hit, because this is actually going to be fairly difficult. I think the way I want to do it is I kind of want to get, like, I need to hit Famine as he... Well, I guess I got him to walk through Poison or something, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, yeah, I need to hit him basically by luck. Because I'm basically unable to, to tie my shots in to hit him. And dodging the grandfather flies is just something that hasn't even entered into my equation yet. Alright, here it comes. Hit him. Didn't hit him. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got him into his head state. And I'm just going to keep trying to dodge my own shots here. Yumhart not yet available. Which worries me. Here we go. This one's going to loop in. Nice Roger Clemens curveball. Oh, I don't like it. Do my shots seriously do one whole damage to me? And if so, is there any way for me to get out of this fight? Well, we're dropping bombs. There we go, he's dead. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I died already? Okay, you know what? I think this challenge run might be a little difficult to start with. Let's replay here. Uh, I have to set up the cheat engine again. I think what we're going to do is go... Uh, only with Ipecac to start with, so we could go all the way down here. Just to make it a little easier, we'll go, uh, Ipecac. I probably missed it already. Where is it? Chemical Peel, I always get it confused with that. Ipecac. Lump of Coal, it should be after Lump of Coal. Yeah, there we go, Ipecac. So we'll start with Ipecac. Move this over here. And then this will load into the, on the next room. And we'll start with this. Because uh, this should be difficult enough in its own right to avoid me getting hit. But I think to make it a little bit more interesting, it's not quite on the level of um, Ipecac Broken Mirror or My Reflection, but Ipecac Spoonbender is going to be sort of similar. So let's try this out. Okay, so now we have homing shots in that, in addition to homing, uh, also explode on target. So anyway, let's get this started. Hopefully this run will go a little bit better. It is slightly easier. I mean, that's why they're called challenge runs, but Ibakak, my reflection, man. That was just a brutal combination. I still have to go back to... Oh, maybe it's... Maybe this is going to be too easy. It feels too easy anyway right now. Uh, I'm going to need to go back into Cheat Engine just for a second here. And as I do, we're going to turn off Add Item when Entering Room. Move this off to the side. Okay, beautiful. Again, there is going to be some kind of technical issues occasionally. This is my second time total using Cheat Engine. First time was in doing Ipecac My Reflection test to see if it was actually going to work. Maybe this is going to be the easiest run of all time now. I have no idea. A lot of people suggested for challenge runs, they're like, why don't you just use Mom's Knife and Brimstone every time? Like, I can't tell if you're being sarcastic, but if you're not, people will hate that. So in compensation, I didn't mean to use that key there. 
for the fact that Ipecac My Reflection seems really easy. Uh, let's modify this run so that we can't use any item runs. I think that is going to make this, it's going to balance out a little bit. Uh, we'll still be able to go to shops, we'll still be able to get items from bosses. And let's, uh, let's make it so we can't re-roll either. It might make it a little too difficult, but that's better because I feel bad about possibly erring too much on the side of ease here. Certainly, this makes things a little bit, uh, safer for me in the long run. We do have the XL again, which I'm not super pleased about. But at least I'm actually able to kill enemies, although I still am at a pretty great risk to myself. Of course, the, the Ipecac thing is going to get harder the further and further we get because the enemies are going to get closer and closer. We're going to have to be dealing with silkworms and stuff like that. But for now, it might make things pretty darn easy. So again, no rerolls allowed, so we'll take Squeezy, which will give us a tiers upgrade. And... If I get enough keys, I will check in on the item rooms just to see what we were missing. Now, this guy was borderline impossible a minute ago. Now he's a, he's a pussycat, basically. Uh, we'll take the key with meat. No rerolls necessary anyway. Let's see what deal with the devil's got for us. Nail and nine lives. Let's make this real interesting. So we're going to take nine lives, Ipecac, my reflection. No rerolls and no item rooms allowed. The good thing is, I think with... Oh, I really wish they didn't blow up the rock there. Uh, I think with nine lives and, like, Ipecac, we have the strength necessary. We're just going to see what's in here. Ah, it doesn't hurt to miss out on that one. Um, I have the strength necessary, even with one heart, to possibly take down some of the later bosses in the, in the game. So something cool could happen there. Or, you know, maybe nothing cool will happen. I doubt it, though. It's episode 315 or 320 for a reason here. 321, I think, is where we're at. Oh, you think you're cool? Just because you got the same thing I got? I obviously can't do anything about that. Uh, we don't have enough money to go to the shop. I should be looking for secret rooms. But I am going to, once I find a suitable location, like this one might be a possibility. I guess it's not a possibility as we move onwards here. Eventually there will be a, a decent candidate. This is what I mean when I say that Ipecac still can be difficult for certain enemy types. Because, I mean, the homing does a, a good job for us, but it's not going to make it completely easy. Let's see what we've got in our mob trap room here. Golden chest that is going to give us a live explosive. Already got enough of those for myself. And we are starting to lose a little bit of health here. I probably should have gone with the nail, but I was pretty confident that if I went with the nail, this would just be like any other Isaac run, and at some point it would, it would be obvious who was going to, uh, whether or not I was going to succeed. Um, oh, that's bad dodging. We're already down to one heart. Luckily, we have nine lives where this one came from. We didn't pick up too much there. We really need to get some spirit out. So I would love to get, you know, the relic or the crate or something. Seriously, home in on the spy, uh, fly. Thank you. And second cube of meat would be awesome too. But that's not going to be the cards for us just yet. Now this is a very tricky room. For Dove, maybe not because we killed it in one hit. We're going to get an HP upgrade, which is borderline essential for us at this point. But it won't last. I didn't even look for the secret room, it was probably directly to the left of the boss room. Let's see what our shop... Oh, it's a library. Holds Book of Revelations, which we'll pick up. And then Book of Belial, which we'll keep. Actually, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna keep Book of Revelations, just to make things, I think, a little bit more long... We're gonna increase the longevity a little bit here. Because if I just went with Book of Belial, I think it would be hilarious. However, I also, if we're being realistic, think I would be dead very, very soon. Might still be dead with Book of Revelations, like one hit spirit art every six rooms. But at least it's something, you know? It's giving me a little bit of a greater chance of success. We came within one half heart of dying on the last boss. Luckily, uh, it died in one hit, so... You know, we're, we're very much a glass cannon right now. There's some potential tinted rock action in here. Oh, spiders on me. Spiders with the storm. I don't know. What can I say? I'm not Jim Morrison. We have one more spider. Get the tinted rock, please. Get the tinted rock, please. Get the tint. One of these days, I'll be able to hit that. Maybe if I just back up, like, all the way down here. Perfect. Pick up a bomb. I can't see how that will ever come in handy, but... You can check and see if there is a secret room right here. Which would have allowed us to go to the mob trap, or boss trap room. Which would have been fantastic, of course. Don't really have enough money to facilitate anything cool happening here. But maybe one day we'll find a secret room. And I won't have to say that anymore. Don't go for the silkworms. Go for... The silkworm throwers. There we go. So we got a troll bomb. We're just gonna get the hell out of there. 
And we're going to get our second key of me. This is beautiful from a, an offensive standpoint. Because we're not going to have to rely solely on Ipecac to do damage. And call me crazy, but I feel like we are due for another deal with the devil too. Yeah. Fantastic. So we're going to see what we get from this. It's amazing. We've gotten this like four times this... Oh. Well, we're going to get the lump of coal aspect of it. The only thing we did not get is the My Reflection. Uh, I've gotten four times further just from the absence of My Reflection. That should give some indication of how terrible the item combination is, Ipecac and My Reflection. Okay, so we get the lump of coal. Our shots are going to get bigger as they travel and do more damage as they travel. Let's head down to the next floor. I really like Ipecac as an item. It's only when... Uh, you know, you suffer because you have Ipecac and My Reflection. Two items that showed up constantly at the same time in that, like, first Wrath of the Lamb, uh, before the first update. Because I think they were, uh, Edmund had made the code so that it predominantly gave you, uh, Wrath of the Lamb items, so there was a much higher percentage chance that you would get My Reflection as opposed to something like Spoonbender, for example. Come on, me boy, you're up here. Oh, that was almost terrible. I thought I was gonna take damage to my own for sure. I, get, I need like a halo of flies or something, so when flies get close to me, they don't do damage like they just did right there. What are we missing out on here? That is Celtic Cross. Not the greatest item, but a decent item nonetheless. And I'm basically burning through keys because there's no way I'm ever going to get enough money to go to the shop. Since I don't apparently look out for secret rooms at all. This one has a heart in it. The compass would be beautiful, I would love that, but I can't really make that work for us right now given uh, our current money situation, our fiscal situation, if you will. Let's just drop some bombs in here, just in case this is where the secret room is. I don't like this room. It's a dead end, and beyond that, it's just a pain in the ass from a homing shot standpoint, but okay. We got through that fairly easily. You have to abuse the positioning a little bit. Not really abuse, but use the positioning a little bit. And uh, the layout of the level to kind of make things a little bit easier on yourself. We're doing okay here, but this is the kind of run where, you know, I have two hearts, so anything could go terribly, terribly wrong very quickly. But we have a very strong run for uh, taking on bosses here. This is one of these enemies that is not going to be strong for us. But they're going to be strong against us, but we're not going to be very strong against them. Leap. Leap. Any second now. Ah, whatever. We got him. Ah, uh, we cannot get that pill, I think. So let's come up. All the flies died at once. There's a tinted rock over here, which has a golden chest, which has an eternal heart, which I will almost certainly lose, but we'll take it anyway. So I want to mix it up a little bit. All right, Sloth. Two can play that game. And we have Cancer as well. Uh, sorry to break the news like this in a video like this, but hey, two spirit hearts. Maybe we can make this eternal heart last now. I don't know if Cancer was a good trinket to pick up there, because we are going to fire so quickly, uh, if I want to fire so quickly, that we may create problems for ourselves, basically. Uh, it doesn't really fire that much faster. You know what would make this run really interesting now? Quad shot. If I had, like, quad, ipecac, homing shots with lump of coal. It sounds like something you could order at, like, a Hardee's or a Fat Burger or something. I'm such a poser. I've never even been to a Hardee's or a Fat Burger. We don't have Hardee's in Canada. We have Harvey's. I shouldn't speak for all of the country, I guess, but I've never seen a Hardee's in Canada, but Harvey's, great fast food chain. Onion rings off the chain, pretty good poutine, which is important for a Canadian fast food chain, believe it or not. Burger King, Wendy's, all off of poutine now. I don't know why this has not become like the fast food times now. Just letting you know, you know, cultural differences. We Oh, because we have Book of Revelations. We are going to fight Conquest here, which is less than ideal. Obviously, I would rather be fighting War, who was actually the name of the dude who showed up when we first got started. So I don't know what's up with that. But I think we're going to succeed here regardless. Could take the White Pony if we wanted to. But I don't think we want... Oh, I guess it gave us a cube of meat instead. Okay, so we're going to have Ipecac, third level cube of meat. We basically got an HP upgrade from the Eternal Heart as well. What are we missing out on here? Man, we have gotten some terrible items uh, that I'm glad to be skipping, basically. An Ipecac third level cube of meat presents this with an interesting situation. I also forgot that we totally have uh, nine lives. Well, it's, it's a weird setup, but I think it's going to get the job done. We're at least going to get to Mom's heart. And again, my save file is still a little weird, 
So I think there might not be any way for us to get to the chest after that. I, after this, like, I just procrastinated on that. After this, I will just re-import my save file and see if that makes a difference. Because I don't want to unlock all the same shit over and over. Although somebody told me uh, on Twitter, they're like, it, it might not be a save file, it might just be the game. Because, like, they also unlocked the left hand at the same, uh, the same day I did, even though we unlocked it previously, like... 10 days earlier, well not 10 days, like 10 years earlier. What I'm trying to say is it's giving you achievements that you already have, but I don't know, maybe he's in a similar situation to me, maybe he moved recently, and uh, his save file is acting up on a different computer, who knows. More money for us, that we'll never be able to use because our last shop has just passed us by. Did I even buy any items from the shops here? I don't think so. But that's okay. Kill you. Oh, kill you. Run away. All of our spirit hearts are gone, basically, but, you know, only a few more rooms until Book of Revelations will recharge yet again. It might seem like I've had it easy this run, in, and in some ways I guess I have, but, uh, again, once it starts raining, it's gonna pour here. It's already a hundred times easier than Ipecac My Reflection. That's a challenge run that I agreed to, because I was like, yeah, that's gonna be easy to set up. And then two seconds into actually playing it, I was like, even on the first floor, this is fucking impossible. What I was I was trying to devise a strategy where like you could just keep the shots constantly orbiting you like some kind of force field and then you'd run into the enemies and the shots would just tear them apart. That's never gonna work, man. You're gonna kill yourself way before you can kill the uh, actual enemies with that. So we got Brain Dude here. We got him killed. These guys are gonna stop firing shots at us, which is very nice of them. Live bomb almost hurt me. I don't know, our chances for beating Mom's Heart, I feel are pretty good. Our chances for beating uh the chest, probably zero, because I think the save file is still corrupted, but hey. Let's just consider this an October era challenge run. Everything's exploded there. And we've got to be coming close to the exit. Thank you for cleaning up the scraps here, Meat Boy. To a certain extent, anyway. There we go. Third level Meat Boy is, is like my most loved and hated item in the game. Because when it works well, it works really well. When it works terribly, it's just like as useless as Dead Bird is most of the time. Must have similar AI programming on those. You know what? Let's use a key to get this pill. Who knows what it's going to give us. Range upgrade would be nice, maybe. Telepills into the arcade, where we'll get two Spirit Hearts. Okay. I like it. Saved us a cent on the way in, too. I probably could have actually played some stuff there. But, you know... It's not really my prerogative right now. Instead, we are just going to go fight Mom, get the Polaroid, even though we can't really make good use of the Polaroid in all likelihood. I don't understand why the Cathedral is not open. Like, I, I guess you have to beat Satan with every character or something to unlock the Cathedral. I was pretty sure we'd already done that. Uh, but maybe we'll have to do some, like, Samson runs if this re-importing of the save file doesn't work. Who knows? But for now, we're just going to play it cool. Ipecac, my reflection, lump of coal, nine lies. But again, now that you've sort of seen the cheat engine, uh, I would love for you guys to give me some more uh, suggestions that was available for challenge runs. Because a lot of them are just impossible. There are some kind of self-enforced uh, challenges I can do, like no item rooms, which is what I'm doing right here. Uh, oh, not like this. Uh, yeah, like no item rooms, no shops, I can do stuff like that. Uh, but some things are like, like, do a run where you have no item rooms and you start with no items. Okay, that's never gonna happen. I mean, it might be interesting to see for about 10 seconds, kind of like Ipecac My Reflection was. Uh, but beyond that, it's just going to be impossible. So at least have some semblance of realism. So we've killed this. Uh, we get a speed upgrade, which we'll take. We get the Polaroid, which we have to take, unfortunately. And we'll go down to Utero Part 1 or the Womb Part 1. And with Book of Revelation still active, I'm hoping we can get a 4th level Meat Boy here. In terms of beating Mom's Heart, I think it's pretty likely. It's not set in stone yet. Depends on, you know, who I fool. I guess I'm almost guaranteed to fight uh, uh, death on this floor. I hope I don't fight Conquest and get the White Pony, which is what I thought was going to happen last time. Just going to drop some bombs in here. Should be super easy. Should be blowing up all these rocks to see if they're tinted rocks in disguise, but... Okay, so we'll take that, go to the exit here. I have a good, uh, strong feeling, that was terrible, uh, that we're going the right direction here. Of course, of the utmost importance, because my health is getting a little bit low now. And we're not going to be able to recharge it too, too often. If I'd gotten the miter, we would be able to. Sadly, um, not much 
Sorry about that. This is not quite a dead end yet. I think we're coming up to it. Coming up to the boss room, that is. And this is scary because these guys are fast. I mean, I've got good speed as well. But still a little concerned. I'm apparently nothing to fear. And we do reach a dead end. Gosh darn it. Try to keep the language PG-13 for the little ones out there. And the young ones. You know, I don't want to say that little ones are always young ones. Two of clubs will double our bombs. We could basically go on a, a fetus in a jar run right now. With, with 42 bombs, we could probably get through the rest of the game. Eh, maybe not the rest of the game, but we could go for a while at least. Maybe this is our boss room? Are you my boss room? Well, we got two cents there. Totally useless to us. Really wanted to get all full, all four. That was terrible dodging on my part. Like three times in a row. Come on, you can do this. Just keep him off you for a second. Ladies, uh, we'll see what we've got in here. Slot machine, they could, who knows. Let's play it a couple times. If we get the tick, I mean, we can't get the tick, but if we got the tick, it wouldn't be a big deal anyway. Might as well just blow this bad boy up. Maybe we'll get some spirit arts. Yeah, that's pretty unlikely. Wishful thinking on my part. Go down here. Blow up all this nonsense. Live bomb, which we'll just run past. I was hoping I didn't take that with me. Sometimes, that's how that shit goes down. And Meat Boy doing his part, actually, I'll admit. We've already had a Book of Revelations charge go here, so we should definitely be fighting either death or conquest. Hopefully death. I just gotta not... That's the problem, is once these guys start chasing you once, it's very easy to get caught in a cycle where they just continue chasing you. And that, we cannot have that, really, if we want to do damage to them with Ipecac. Now, hopefully this is the end. Every time I say Ipecac, I feel like I'm talking with some kind of, like, faux Bostonian accent. Yeah, I went over to Ipecac yesterday. Obviously, my faux Bostonian accent is worse than all of my other faux accents combined. Where's the car? I don't know. Who do we have here? It's Death indeed. And if we can kill him as soon as possible, I don't have to deal with these damn sights. Why don't... My Ipecac shots are not green anymore. That's unusual. We're gonna take a little damage. Whoa! Death is dead already. I don't know how we're gonna make this work. I gotta time my shots appropriately. Like now. Beautiful. That was too late, or too early, I should say. That was too late. That was per That was perfect, I said. No, I thought that one was good too. We can wait. Meat Boy's doing like 2% damage every few seconds. Beautiful. Pretty good. There we go, finally. So we got our fourth cube of meat. In addition to Ipecac, my reflection, nine lives. Nine lives could be a clincher here, who knows. I kind of have these visions of me fighting Satan with only one heart nine times, but we'll see. Who knows? I wonder if you could just stack nine lives in Cheat Engine, like you could actually give yourself 81 lives. That sounds like the setup for like the most laborious challenge run of all time. Like give yourself 81, yeah, I had to walk over that. Give yourself 81 lives. And then, like, absolutely no good items. I can't, I can't do anything here. I'm gonna die. I, I can't shoot. I keep walking on the creep. There's nothing I could have done about that. Um, and now I gotta fight. Okay, now it's just two regular lusts, which might be a little easier. Hey boy, hook me up here, buddy. So now, I'm halfway to that vision of me fighting Satan over and over. This is, this is a tough one. Oh, I got trapped in the corner. All right, so we're down to seven lives now. This is where the challenge part of the challenge run starts to ring true. These guys are now tricking me. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Exploded right on their face. Happens all the time. Um, okay, now you guys run in the same circle, please. Then, oh God. Okay, I can't afford to do this too much more often. Maybe we should just go to the left here and see if the boss room's over here. It's not, the arcade is. And if there is a uh, fortune teller in the arcade, I'll probably play that. Mm, there's not. My thinking was I'd go play that and then um, maybe it would give me some spirit hearts, which could get me through that super lust room. Which is making, proving to be quite the nuisance. Oh, I killed myself on that one. Only four laps left. This run could actually end up ending. Which, oh, there's a spirit art from Larry Jr. Oh, like, oh, da, 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 I had it. I, it! It changes so fast, man. You know, if we can just get the Larry Juniors killed, we can at least get the spirit heart from them. Oh, maybe we can't. Please tell me that they're going to drop a spirit heart. 
Chubb's gotta be dead soon. He's failing to spawn enemies. Okay, there's the spirit arts. We can at least survive for two hits now. This pill is, um... Telepills. Sure, let's use it. Could be interesting. Gives us an HP upgrade from the boss trap room. Also a tears upgrade, which may or may not be useful with Ipecac in our current situation. Certainly presents an interesting setup for us, though. Uh, I don't know if I can fight Monstro 2 using the same techniques I've always used. May have to get a little creative. I don't know if the, the laser trick is going to work on him this time. At the very least, we're going to get through... Oh, I walked into his laser at the end like a big dummy. That's okay. So now we have two hearts. We sort of did already. Ah, I got to use two keys here. So I had spirit hearts, but that's okay. Child's heart causes more red heart drops. We're going to stick with the Polaroid just to keep myself trained and primed uh, for eventually fighting Blue Baby and Isaac again. Something that I do miss a great deal, actually. Book of Revelations is back, thank God. Fuck this room, here's what we're gonna do. Put a bomb right there, you push it out of the way. That's what you're gonna do to me? Again? Just keep the- oh God. Just keep the bomb there. I'm gonna put it here and trick him into- uh, they didn't call for it. Okay, now we're gonna leave. I probably could've killed him. And of course we got a dead end, so now I gotta deal with that again. So we were going the right way at some point earlier. This is a tricky, tricky room here. Here we go. Got the perfect bomb. Let's kill these guys now. We've got the opportunity. They gave me so much trouble. We get poison touch for our, our problems. I don't know if it was worth it considering how much health we lost and like six lives lost, but hey. We've gotten through it now. We're stronger as a result. So very slightly stronger technically because poison touch is not a superb item, but beats having nothing to show for it, I guess. Although a single spirit heart probably would have been imminently more valuable. Keep this up here, brain dudes. Pissing me off. Oh, I walked on the creep because I'm an idiot, but... It's okay. Keep it up here. Lasers are a problem. We all... Oh! Hit myself. Down to two lives. Hilariously enough, I feel like Mom's heart is actually going to be easier than half of these... I thought for sure that I'd killed that laser. This is our last life. This could be the end of the run. Luckiest laser shot ever. Made it out. Need HP upgrades desperately. This room should not be super difficult. You just do the dirty work, you and me. You got it. Okay, we're safe. Book of Revelations has gone off, so I've got another chance here. I was really hoping that that was the end. Uh, and we, we had the boss room coming for us, but no such luck. Alright, he's not dead yet? Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Heart I can't use yet. And hopefully we'll never have to use. Meat Boy, I would love for you. Yeah, you just do that up. Uh, and I'll take care of this gentleman right here. Oh, well, you made it a little trickier, but we still got it done. All right, Mom's Heart. This is a, a big fight for us, of course. If we make this work, we have a good chance, I think, of, of, of at least getting to Satan. And we are going to just basically continuously fire here. Keeping Mom damaged and poisoned is going to be huge. Like I said, Mom's Heart should not be a very difficult fight here. Given the, uh, the suite of items that we have, Meat Boy would be awesome if you would actually, like, find it in your heart to do some damage. Usually that gives us some slowdown, but it didn't, and that'll be the end of Mom's Heart. Fairly easy fight. Apparently we can go up to the cathedral now. I don't know if maybe I fixed the save file or what's up with that, but let's give it a try. It's been a while. So we do have Curse of the Lost, and we've got Super Greed here. If you're a betting man... This is probably where you feel that this run comes to an end, and you would be right! <laughs> but that was an interesting first run for a, a cheat run, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Continue to suggest uh, cheat run options, because I am looking forward to trying them out in the future. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.